We are back with episode 10 of the Pirates Road to Glory and the final game of the season. So, off camera, I added a couple of prospects that I want to scout. Because we did a little bit of looking at our depth chart through the team needs and we have a little bit more seniors than I thought. I looked for a tight end. I didn't really find anyone with a low lock percentage. Yes, we're recording. We're recording the right screen. Perfect. Um, I didn't find anyone with a low lock percentage, so we may be just SOL there. Um, but defense, our outside linebackers, we have three seniors. And our middle linebacker, one senior, Bruce Bivens, he will be gone next season. So we need another big player to step in to his role. Um, he's been great. He's been the user. Um, I've really enjoyed using him. Um, he's a little bit slower than you would have liked for a user. But, you know, when you're... 55 overall rated team you can't really complain about too much in that aspect of players not being good enough so with that being said i added a middle linebacker here that we're going to scout and he is good 80 speed 90 acceleration 83 strength 70 agility he's got pretty decent stamina at 76 he's got 77 tackle his hit power not bad at 62 his power moves his finesse moves and his blocking all in the 60s power moves almost into the 70s his coverage i'm not too worried about it because it's going to be the user now <laughs> that also falls on me being good with him so i'm not mad about that so we'll go ahead and scout josh purcell he's gonna be a plus seven with 90 speed and 89 acceleration relatively the same kind of player but in my opinion better just because of that speed and we will look to scout chris carr who's also going to be a plus six can i have them all is that a possibility is that even real is that something that we can do we will go ahead and scout Mike Brown, who is going to be a plus three. So, wait, he, he locked us out? Playing time. Deal breaker. Okay, so, never mind. In scouting him, we learned that he doesn't want to play for us because he won't be able to play, which... I would have found him time on the field, but, you know, you can't really negotiate with computer-generated players. It's actually a lie you can, but we'll get into that in the off-season episode. So, we will jump in to the East Carolina Pirates versus Marshall. Lee Corso is taking Marshall. And I don't necessarily blame him. I'm going to turn up the volume here. I was streaming, so I had the volume a little bit lower. If I can remember how to get there. No. Bear with me. No. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's got to be somewhere, right? system settings yep. that is not it either <laughs> oh the pressure find it find it advanced game controls no where is it what is going on okay so we'll just we'll back out real quick and we will just go to where I know I can find it. And that is right here. 
Nope, it's not. Just kidding. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm under pressure. There it is. So we will bump that up to 70. All right, back to it. I was like, wow, I can really hear myself pretty dang good. All right, so back to it. C plus, C plus, C plus. We are D minus in everything. I can't imagine that they can give you an F, but maybe they could. But this is a game that we have a chance to steal away. Mid-Tennessee State was ranked in the 70s. Southern Miss was ranked in the 70s. And we will try to steal a last game win. We are fifth in rushing in the entire NCAA. So that goes well. Their best player is a 89 overall center. Our best player is 70 and 70 and, yeah, well, almost 70. 69 Kappa. Finally have a clear skies game. It'll be a nice break. Let's see what we can do. Not a lot of Marshall faithful in the crowd today. Can you blame them? Their team's not doing great. Luckily, the Pirates have a great fan base, and we pretty much sell out every single game. And you know what? We'll go ahead and say, screw it. We're going to bring it out with Sneed here. And we are going to fall forward to about the 24, maybe the 25-yard line. We'll switch to the conservative tempo. We're going to get at the 26, actually. Oh, no, sorry. 21. We get some nice blocking here for Harris, and Harris is going to be up. And he will find himself nine yards. That is the kind of play you want to start with. We will come out with our famous read option. We're going to get some space. We're going to go ahead and not slide, get bumped. And Allers will find himself a good run. He has 854 passing stats. Uh, sorry, passing yards. That may be a NCAA record for the least amount of yards thrown in a season. I honestly thought he would have far less than that. As Allers is going to get back to the line of scrimmage. We are going to let Harris run in between the guard and center here. We're going to get some blocks. Harris is going to find a little bit of space, and he'll get four yards. Set up third and manageable at third and six. We will come out the gate getting this if we... Do not get it on this play. We're going to roll out here. And we are going to have the edge. Almost got tripped up by the end, it seems. That guy was boogieing. Oh, man, that would have been really upsetting had we got brought down by the ankles. All right, we'll go back to the faithful read option, but with Mitchell being the option back. And Mitchell will find some space and fall forward for a gain of seven. And we will just keep the ball on the ground here. Read option to Harris. And we are going to get some space and we'll slide as Allers will pick up a good gain of nine. I don't want to go to the halfback draw. That doesn't go well with us. And Harris is going to find a little bit of space on the outside, but not be able to escape the tackle and only gain two. So we will look to kind of clear out the left side. We have Johnson 
I don't think I want to test one of their impact players. So we're just going to go ahead and try and sprint away, and we are going to be brought down from behind by Simmons. Excuse me, Allers with a three yard scramble. We are going to come out in the five wide here and see what the defense is going to line up in. They're not hinting at any pressure. Yeah, a zone, and Sneed will make the catch in traffic, and that'll be a first down. Tyler Sneed, nine yards. And we will line up in the shotgun with a run to Harris, and he couldn't get started. He's not going to be able to make it to the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a loss of a yard. Try and hit him with the play action. We'll look to Sneed. We'll call a hot route for Johnson. Have him coming back over the middle. And they will bite. And I don't know what that was. And Allers will be hit hard. Game of three. I didn't like how he just like kind of sprinted towards Simmons there. That was weird. Play actions have been weird to say the least with this team let's see we'll go with the 689 hook here if harris can get there that would be nice we will roll out and look to sneed on the slant sneed is going to be open we're going to set our feet and sneed is going to drop the ball <sighs> Coach doesn't think that our kicker has the leg. We're going to look at it. It's a 33-yard field goal. We're going to test him. And it is up and good. We will take a 3-0 lead here. And studio update has Georgia Tech leading Georgia early. Second quarter, 3-0. And Larson will kick it off here. And we will take control of Stringer shooting the gap. Or our lane, not the gap per se. As Evans will get a 23-yard return. Now the big ask. And that has been the big ask of the entire series. Can we make a stop on defense? Well, this is the last game of the season. Sometime... This will be the last time some of the seniors will ever suit up for a football game as Barry will make the tackle for a two-yard game. So Coach Lewis had a little bit of a peck talk to the seniors and said, this is the last time some of you guys will play football for the rest of your life. And unfortunately, that's just the hard truth. As we're going to actually trip the quarterback, Wells, with Bivens laying on the ground. That'll be the end of the first quarter. But as I was saying, some of these players aren't going to be playing any more football. So Coach Lewis asked them to leave it all on the field and play the best they can play. And that's what they're out here to do. And Keaton will make the catch. 14-yard reception for the Thundering Herd. Nothing really wrong with that. He just found the soft spot of the zone. As Tucker will make the catch. No, just kidding. Tucker was the one that went flying by him. Ahmed makes the catch. Ahmed. I don't know why I said that so weird. Ahmed. He had a good couple first plays. As Johnson will make the tackle in the backfield for a two-yard loss. That's how you want to start first down. Leave them with a second and long. And we will look to set them up with a third and long. We've got a man in motion. Watch the jet sweep. And we're going to get blocked right into it. Another tackle for a loss. Miles Berry will get credited with that one. Now, 
This is where we are going to have to make our stand right here. This third and 13. Could set the momentum of the rest of the game. And he's going to throw it away. Tucker is not going to give me the animation. Oh, my God. Oh, that's frustrating. Switched on to, use the, to do the user pick. He just... I don't even know. Oh, that's frustrating. I mean, maybe next time I just won't switch on. Oh, man, that's frustrating. That's a big, big stand by the defense that just comes down to, I mean, ultimately user error. It's my decision to switch on to him, and I switched on to him, and it was not a good play. That is frustrating, to say the least. But nonetheless, we will come out on offense to look to get a score before half. Looks like they are bringing the pressure. We're going to switch out. And, oh my goodness. Just user error. I'm caught up in the talk room and just irritated with that pass. And then you come out and mess up on first down. We are not a team that can get more yards. We're going to set up for the read option here, and the tackle is just going to disengage his block and go to the second level. Oh, boy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Ooh, look for Sneed. Sneed's going to have the wide open, and we're going to be hit as we pass the ball. And so it freaking begins. Freaking stupid delay of game. And Oliver is going to miss the pass completely and throw it out of bounds. And we are in trouble. Young to punt it away. A decent punt, but the Gunners are nowhere to be found. And Johnson will be blocked. Jackson, Powell to save the touchdown, and he will. But that will set up the Thundering Herd in pretty dang good field position. McMillan, another no animation. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Thankfully, he drops the pass. We're going to get a run, and Smith won't be able to make the tackle, and we are not going to lock on to Ali and he's going to find his way into the end zone for another touchdown for Marshall. Marshall now up 14 to 3 against your East Carolina Pirates. Alright, let's try to minimize the stupid mistakes. Come back out. We'll bring it out with Hatfield. And we're just not going to get a block. Sneed is just not going to block him. Oh, what can go wrong will go wrong, right? All right, we will look to play East Carolina football here and try and stay composed. This game is not too far out of reach as Olives will run for a six-yard gain. That'll make it second and four. may have to take off the conservative tempo here, but I also don't want to leave them with too much time. We're going to get the block. We're going to 
Lower shoulder, Allers will get a eight yard gain. We are recording, we are recording the right screen. Good, good, good on you. All right, we were on the triple option here. But we're gonna get a lot of space here. Allers be brought down at the 40. That's a huge gain. 32 yard run. Maybe the triple option is it. Does leave more room for air if I make the wrong read. We'll pitch it to Mitchell and we're going to have some space here. Mitchell to the 20, Mitchell to the 15. Mitchell stopped at the 11 yard line. Have we been missing a play? Have we been missing a play here? We will run the counter triple option. We're going to pitch it to Mitchell. Mitchell's going to find some space, and he will gain two yards. Well, this may be a viable play to keep in mind for next season. As we will hope to have two Juco athletes. And we'll be fighting for the quarterback position. As Mitchell will be hit in the backfield. That's going to be a loss of one. Oh, boy. That will kind of force us into a passing situation. I do want to remember that we can take a field goal here. It's not the end of the world. And we're going to have to throw this away and just live to fight another day we will line up for the field goal a little bit too much time left on the clock i would have liked there to be less as the kick is up didn't have a lot of power but it was six points for east carolina studio update has georgia tech still leading number five georgia almost at halftime that one will be interesting to keep eyes on but back to the action here we have the herd receiving the kickoff and we are going to get absolutely blocked out of the play he's going to break the tackle he's going to break another tackle and he's going to fall forward evans with a 35 yard return this is not panic situation just yet we need to go into halftime giving no points as the herd will get the ball coming out of halftime. Check the motion, man. We're going to come right back over the middle. We're going to miss him. Tucker's going to get blocked out of the field. McMillan will save a touchdown. And that's just where your players just aren't that good. I mean, we jumped back into the lane, and Bivens was just not athletic enough to make a play on the football. They're going to throw it. He will drop it. Wells with the incomplete pass thrown into traffic. They'll come out in a trips left. And that's thrown right at us. And we just don't have the athleticism to make a play on the ball. And that will be a big 31-yard reception. And this is, this is what we didn't want happening. This right here. We're going to actually guard number nine. And Bivens will save the touchdown, if not for just momentarily. Ball on the half-yard line, Mark. I wouldn't be surprised if they called the read option here. And it is going to be a read option, and he's going to walk in. Wells with the read option touchdown. Now it's a little bit of panic mode. We have to play smart. We have to move the ball up the field. But we can't have another turnover while we do it. So we are going to go ahead and take off the tempo of conservatives. And we, depending on where this ball is kicked, we will let this go out. Yeah, we'll let this ball go out of the back of the end zone. 
Hatfield just not fast enough to be returning. But we don't really have anyone fast enough to be returning. Alright, so we are going to come out and spread the field. We will look to Calhoun and to Harris on the delayed route. See what the defense is giving us. They're giving us a zone. Set our feet and be hit as we threw. We were looking for Calhoun. He was open. Just couldn't get it to him. We're in a real weird position here. We'll run the ball here. We're going to get some blocks. And Harris will fall forward for four yards. But if they're content to let this clock run, we will be content to let this clock run down before we snap it. We will wait. Because if we don't get this, we do not want Marshall to have any time to score. Oliver's is going to make a huge run, and we're going to be close to the 50. In hindsight, if you knew you were going to get that, you didn't want the clock to run that much. But again, we can't give them another possibility at points right before the half. So we're going to kick out here. We're going to throw this away. It's just the clear out routes with the verticals. That only really works when we're in man, and we see that the corners are covering the flats. We just don't have the arm strength to throw down the field like that. As we will look for Hudson, and Hudson will make the catch, and we will call a timeout with eight seconds left. All right, we will look to the corner route here with Calhoun. We can go over the middle here. Actually, we'll hot route Calhoun up the middle. Let's see if anybody guards him. Nobody's going to. Calhoun with a big catch. And we will call another timeout. And you know what? We are going to test our kicker. It's the last kick of the year. This is a bomb. 43 yards with this guy. Can he get it through? He does! He has the leg for a 43-yard kick. And we will have another field goal, leaving it nine points for East Carolina. He has been on fire today. As Powell will make the stop, and we will head into halftime. Marshall, 21. Your Pirates, nine. And we will kick off again. Larson to kick it deep. And we will have Jackson. And we're going to get crushed with Jackson. And Evans will have a 29-yard return. Need some water. Need some water. We'll look to make a stop here on first down to set up a second down. And McMillan, we'll say he added enough pressure to have the wide receiver come up empty. McMillan starting to become a channel favorite. Him, Bivens, all play great. We'll back out of this one. And... McKinney will bring him down for a sack. McKinney, we, he is another channel favorite as he sheds the block and comes in and puts Wells on the ground. All right, third and long. We will come out in hopes to stop. We will come up a little bit. And Bivens is going to hit him, and he will be stopped short. That is a stand by your East Carolina Pirates. To set up a fourth and two, and the Thundering Herd 
We'll punt it away. And Sneed will be back to return. We are going to cut it upfield to the right, and Sneed will have an 11 yard return. Not bad. You can't ask for more on that. As <laughs> Jackson will fall crotch first onto Sneed's face. That's not good. And we will go back to playing East Carolina football. And we're going to get some blocks here, and we're going to go ahead and slide with Allers to avoid the big hit. And I like what I saw on that defense. They did not have enough to be running good run defense. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, Harris trying to get a little spin in there. Harris will get a five-yard game. That's a first down. We'll go back to the triple option. I like the way it worked in the first half. And we're going to give the read to Harris. Harris is going to spin off and fall forward for four yards. That makes it second and six. So we'll set up here with another run. I do like the trap play. The trap play has been good to us all season, so we will go back to it here. And we're going to get a good pit, pit, a good pitch, a good push, and Harris will find another four-yard game. We'll give it to him again. We'll let him work it. Earn his 10 yards right here. This is his first down. And Harris will get it. Kind of got stopped up the line. And it worked for a hard three-yard gain. Now we will go back to the triple option here. See if we can get out in space. And we will pitch it to Mitchell. Mitchell's going to have some space. Mitchell's going to attempt to freaking stiff arm, and he will fall. Not strong enough to hold off the Marshall defender. Back to the read option here. We're going to have some good blocks. Unfortunately, Sneed will not hold his block. And we'll be tackled by the nickel corner. We'll go back to the triple option. I've been liking how um, Marshall has not been able to defend it yet. I don't know who Garcia is, but I guess we're about to find out. As we will pitch it to Garcia. Garcia has some space! And he will get a touchdown! Mason Garcia, backup quarterback in a backup running back. Huge play. And we've got a game here. Marshall 21. Your Pirates 16. And I say it was shocked because they've been fighting. We have been fighting here. These players know how much this game means. We want to go into the offseason with a lot of momentum. And to end at 4-8, and eight, yeah, it's not a season that we wanted. Of course, you want to finish at least 500 and see yourself in a bowl game. But for how we are this season, ratings-wise and personnel-wise, I will take a 4-8. We're going to look to stop the halfback, and Bivens will make a big one-on-one -on -one tackle to keep Ali to a three-yard gain. I'm going with the cover two sink here. I don't know what that is. It would be nowhere to be found. That I don't know what happened there. The corner just decided to stop behind Johnson. And we ended up moving the wrong player out of position. And there we go again. The corner just not moving. Tucker, do something. Fake quarterback draw. It's going to run anyways. B 
Bivens will make the tackle. And Grant Wells will only have seven yards. He had a lot of open space. Good play by Bivens to close down and make a good open field tackle. We may blitz with Bivens, but we may back out here. And Barry! Oh! Sliding attempt to intercept the ball. Good play nonetheless. That's the kind of effort you want to see from your team. We will look to stop him here on third down. They're going to be on the option. He's going to pitch it, and we are not going to be able to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. That's going to be a touchdown for Marshall. A big gain on the option. Speed option works to success when you can't get off your blocks. And that's okay. We're still in this. All we need to do is go down the field, score, and have a defensive stand. This game is not over. And we'll just go ahead and let that bounce out of the back of the end zone with Hatfield. And we will come out and look to take control. A mountain triple option. And yep, I was a little sketched out to pitch that. He was kind of kept the angle at coming towards me, but he was in between both the quarterback and the running back. And I didn't feel comfortable pitching that because you make the wrong read and he's actually on the, the uh, running back and you pitch that. He may just sneak in there and pick it off. We're going to have a lot of space here. Ollers is going to get the first down and more. Ollers with a 15-yard run. We'll go ahead and go back to the read option here. We'll rush up to the line. Ooh, actually, we'll see what the zone coverage is looking like. We may have a chance to get some space. We do. Ollers is going to take off. He'll get a four-yard gain. I was really hoping for man, but when I audibled out, I did not see the corner change to the other side of the field. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the quarterback's awareness or just the game, you can only call one audible. And Allers is going to have a lot of space. He's going to find some room, and he's going to be tackled by his ankles for a 25-yard gain. Allers up to 146 yards. Great individual effort and that will bring us to the end of the third quarter got to make this and then we will probably look to go for two triple option it's been good to us so far we're gonna give it to mitchell mitchell's gonna find some space after a good cut mitchell seven yard game I think we may have missed a play all season, but that's fine because we still have next season. This series is not over. We're going to get a couple good blocks. Harris is going to fight forward, and Harris will find himself just shy of the first down marker. That will set up, set, set up, set up a third and inches. And Harris will have some space. He'll get the first down and more. Harris for a five-yard gain. We'll come back out in the shotgun, running the option play. As he's going to commit to the running back. Harris will be blown up in the backfield. That's going to be a two-yard loss. The defensive tackle just blew that play up. And we will see if there is a triple option. All right, here we go. Compose, compose. We're going to get some blocks here. Harris with a good sidestep. Harris will find himself seven-yard gain. 
That'll set up for third and manageable at five yards. We haven't done this yet. We haven't run any five wide. We do have Snead on the whip route. So we can look to see what the slot corner will do. He will be all over him, and we are going to lose some yards. Oh, boy. All right. This is for it. This is for the game. We look for Johnson. Johnson's not going to have the separation, but we're actually going to get away. Allers is going to find himself some space, and Allers is going to find a touchdown. Huge 15-yard scramble. And that's what man defense does for you. And I said we were going to go for two points. I lied. Studio update has UAB climbing all the way almost to the top 10. And they are tied with just a couple minutes left in the first quarter. Georgia Tech still holding on to beating Georgia, number five, 24 17, with just six minutes left in the fourth quarter. And Larson will kick it deep. Yeah, probably should have went for that. Oh boy, oh boy, someone bring him down. Evans with a 33 yard return. We need a stop. We always need a stop. Come out empty, backfield, five wide, trips to the left. Bivens, oh my goodness. Big touchdown saving tackle by Tucker. And Keaton with a 22 yard return, er, sorry, excuse me, 22 yard catch. We'll try and bring some pressure. Actually, no, we won't. We'll audible out to a cover three here. And Saba will meet up with McMillan for the tackle. Oh, will be a halfback dive. We're going to be with Ford. Ford isn't going to bring him down. Hickman's not going to bring him down. No one is going to bring him down. And Ali will be in for another touchdown. Our defense just has to wrap up. You can't keep giving away broken tackle touchdowns. And if we put this in, it's going to have to be an onside kick afterwards. We will save the time. And let that bounce out of the back of the end zone. It has been nothing but broken tackles all game. And we look to continue our newfound success with a triple option. We're going to find some space here with Harris. Harris will get himself a four-yard gain. We are going to turn off the conservative. I think it's important to leave some time on the clock if we do score. Because if we don't, it's over. But if we do, we need time to make a play and attempt a onside kick. Now, I haven't done an onside kick in I don't know how long. <laughs> since 2014, maybe. So... See how that goes. Harris is going to have some space. Harris will have a good little bit of run. And Harris will find nine yards on the ground. Keep running it. Keep running it. But we got to run it quicker. we got to be quicker on the ball. And Harris doesn't have the speed to break it outside into all that grass sitting in front of him. He had a hole, but he just couldn't find it. We will hopefully get a man coverage look, but it doesn't look like it. So we'll audible out. And Mitchell, unfortunately, will get tripped. I wanted to go into that huge hole, but it kind of just sucked me in. Oy, 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 oy. 
bring Johnson on the slant route here. We'll throw it to him. He's going to be just shy. And this is for the game right here. I don't think we're moving fast enough. And Harris is going to get it, and we're just going to get up to the line again. We have to take advantage of this clock not moving. And we will run a little slant. And we're going to have the space on the outside. We're going to go ahead and take it and run. Allers to the 30. To the 20, to the 15, pushed out of bounds for a 30-yard one scramble. 31 yard yeah, I said that right. Sounded weird. I don't know why it sounded weird. But 31-yard scramble for Harris. Or no, sorry. Allers. Harris doesn't scramble. Harris is a running back. Good job. And Harris is going to find some room with a good first cut. He will get a six-yard gain and we'll hurry up to the line again. We'll go to the read option here. And Harris will be stood up. We're going to go ahead and take our first time out. Getting, getting antsy. We will... I don't know if I like this. But you got to trust it sometimes. Third and five. And we are going to be stopped. Hmm. Take the field goal, kick the onside kick, get it, win. Not really win, but, you know. All right, let's try the triple option. It's a late pitch. Harris is not going to be able to get it, and we will turn the ball over on downs. Probably in hindsight, a little bit of a bad clock management from the coach, a.k.a. me. But uh, it's tough. It's tough. But we will end our season with our head held high as Johnson will not be able to make the tackle. But Ali will have a five-yard run, and that will put him over 100 yards for the day. And that will be the last play of the game. The Thundering Herd, 35. Your East Carolina Pirates. Well, now I feel stupid because the score disappeared. <laughs> 35, what? Oh, boy. 25. Nope. 35. 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Leave it in the comments. Roast me. I understand. <clears throat> I get it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Roast me in the comments. Let me know. Get all tongue-tied. And USC will barely hold on to beat UCLA. Nothing really else. We didn't get to find out what happened in the Georgia-Georgia Tech game. But we will go ahead and advance to the next week. We're at 49 minutes, so we might just go to the actual offseason in this episode and then just stop and leave the offseason because it's already going to be a long video. So if we can trim some of that and put it into this video as this video is a little bit shorter... It was a rough season. It was. I'm not going to lie. It was. 3-9 and nine is a lot better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Let me know down below what you think. 3-9. <clears throat> and nine. Good. Not good. Terrible. All right. We have a lot of players visiting this week. This week is a bye. So this will just be a easy point grab, if you will. We are going to put those points into the um, middle linebackers. Let me make sure I'm putting it into the right one. Yes. Oh, he's really only a one star? 
All right. Now, I did not pay attention to him being a Juco, but that's fine. That's fine. Two years, plenty enough time to find other players to take his place once he leaves, and it gives us the ability to f redshirt. Okay, we will go ahead and advance to the conference championship. <clears throat> And before we get into the conference championship, we will go ahead and take a quick peek at the top 25. We will see how this wild, wild game has got players ranked. And we did get the kicker. Jack Tyson is now a new East Carolina player. We have Patrick Sparks, left guard. Huge commit. We have a couple of recruiting battles. Nobody committed on the bye week. We will go ahead and take a quick little look, like I said, at the top 25. <clears throat> All right, we have the only undefeated team in college football, the Cincinnati Bearcats. I already know how the viewers are going to feel about that. Iowa State, number two. One loss, Alabama Crimson tied with Bryce Young under center at number three. And Florida. I know we got a couple Gators in the comments. Good season for them. They will most likely be getting into the play college playoffs if they beat Alabama. That's a tough one. North Carolina, you know we played them. Hung in there, didn't get the result that we wanted, but we were close until the fourth quarter and things fell apart. Number seven, Michigan State, Ohio State, thank you. Not in the top five. Oklahoma, USC, Iowa, Georgia. I think that means they lost to Georgia Tech. It doesn't say for some reason, because uh, we simmed it. Good job. UAB Blazers, you remember playing them. They put it down on us. 11-1, Boise State, BYU, Clemson having a tough year. Georgia Tech, yep, they definitely beat Georgia. That's why they snuck into the top 25. Kansas State, Indiana, Utah, NC State, Wake Forest, Oregon, Baylor, Pittsburgh, and to round out the top 25, we have Arkansas. A fairly decent top 25. You know, I can see... The Cincinnati, Alabama, Florida being real. Iowa State, I mean, they did. They got a good roster. <clears throat> we won't take anything away from them. But that will conclude things. We will skip through the conference championship. And I think we will leave the bowl games for the... Um, what am I trying to say? The final episode of the season. Not the final episode of the series. It's okay. Relax. Everything's fine. We still have another season. We still have hopefully plenty of seasons. As Brian Robinson, running back from Bama, will win the Heisman Trophy. Nice. He crushed it. Won by a landslide. For sure. And deservingly so. That's uh, insane. That's 305 carries for 1,700 yards, almost 1,800, 19 touchdowns, 20 receptions for 290 yards and a touchdown. We would have liked to see him be more utilized out of the backfield, but just not how it worked. So, that will be the end of the episode. If you've made it this far in the series, I cannot thank you enough. It has been so much fun making this series i'm i'm addicted to it i just i can't i can't wait to record the next episode and as you see i sit here in the same shirts you're thinking this dude never changes his shirts no i love making these episodes so i sit down for hours and hours and hours and i just record episode after episode after episode it is so much fun and i appreciate all the support and all the comments and we will have one more episode to round out season one of the East Carolina Pirates Road to Glory. Now, 
the next episode is going to be huge. We're going to get a lot of recruits. We may get our heart broken. We may leap for freaking joy with the recruits that we are still in, you know, close contention of getting. We have a five star on the board that we still may be able to get. All of that is going to be in the next episode, so don't miss it. You do not want to miss it. And again, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Not just to me. Do it to every YouTuber, every YouTube video you watch. It helps. It helps the algorithm. It helps us get videos out to other people that may also enjoy the content. So it means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.